Yo, I was just I was just editing this video. And I just gotta say this. If you're looking for a detailed review, specs, um, brick walls, whatever, this ain't it. This is my thoughts on this lens. It's sample images of the stuff I did on the street and a whole lot of conversation about using manual lenses in street photography. If your attention span is short, use the timestamps. I got nothing for you guys. But if you want to have a conversation about photography and this lens and this whatever, stick around. What's going on? Guys, I, I've i been testing the last week this uh, 25 millimeter F2 by TT Artisan on my Fuji X-Pro2. This lens is so small and compact and lightweight and that's just the beginning. I also got this the focus tab and it's stuck on there. That's another we'll, we'll talk about that focus tab in a little bit. I want to put this back on the camera so I don't have an exposed sensor. Okay. Screw on lens cap. Uh, it's made of metal. You just heard it clink. It's okay. It's slower to you know, but whatever. I know. I know that I've had lens caps fall off in my bag before. This ain't going nowhere. It's got a satisfying little, you know what I mean. And it's on there. It's not coming off. It's well protected. I know this lens is safe. I know my sixty dollar investment is going to be fine. It's a twenty five millimeter f two lens which is plenty for street i shoot i'm shooting an f8 uh, infinity on an f8 and everything from less than three feet to infinities in focus which is another video i, I gotta talk about the importance of manual focus in street photography guys it's, it's something i haven't been doing because i've been using autofocus lenses and the manual focus on these lenses are uh, focused by wire so you don't have you don't have the um, distance scale you can't set you can't set anything uh, you can't zone focus you can't do anything so which is why I bought this lens if you remember if you any if you saw this video then you'll know what I'm talking about when I said I wanted to slow down I wanted to use manual focus. I wanted to craft my images more than, than let the camera be. I always did manual exposure, but and even with the manual lens, it's it's faster than. I mean, I might as well just talk about this right now. Manual lenses on the street is the way to go, guys. This is a game changer, and I'll tell you why. Here's why: when you use an autofocus lens. Okay, and you're on your street and you have a subject and you, f and you lock focus on that subject and then you recompose, you lost your shot, possibly. Or you focus on your subject and take a picture and composition goes out the water. All you're focused on is focusing on that subject, pun intended, pun not intended. So you focus on the subject and take your picture and then you just got a picture of a sharp subject, but the composition is whack. Okay, with zone focusing, when you you just you just trust the lens has got it relatively sharp. Look, we're not doing studio work here. We're not selling advertisements. We're taking street photography. It's raw. It's gritty. Sometimes out of focus. If your if your scene is powerful enough, a little bit of soft focus ain't going to be a big deal. Most of my stuff. Unless you zoom in 200% is sharp. I, I was extremely happy. I had a 90% hit rate. Just putting it on zone focusing or, or hyperfocal distance and just framing up the shot and shooting it. I had 90% of my shots were sharp. 
So when you have a manual lens and you're in your zone focusing where you don't have to worry about focusing on your subject, all you have to do is, and before you even to pull the camera up to your eye and you see a subject, when you see something, when you see something that is interesting or about to be interesting because you are predicting by human nature the outcome of what people are going to about, are about to do or could possibly do right or or a light source that they're getting ready to walk into you can predict you can set up you you can before you even pull it up to your face you can you frame the shot in your head and you bring it up and you compose you don't focus you don't try to get them in focus and you compose the shot and you shoot it. Lighting quick. It's absolutely insane how efficient this is. And I I believe that just by using this lens and that method, my photography has gone up another level. I swear to God. Because I'm not worrying about I'm not worried about that autofocus getting on that subject that I'm looking at. All I'm concerned about is the composition. And I let I let the I let the lens the way I have it set up, I just let it be. And I just trust that it is. And if that's the thing. At first I was like, oh I don't know. I had um peaking on and peaking like I mean if it wasn't all lit up like Christmas, I was concerned, but man, I just said, screw it. I'm just going to let it go. And, uh, here's the thing. This lens was 60 bucks and I want to show you some sample images here in a second. And, uh, I couldn't be more happier. There's situations where I wouldn't use this lens, but on the street, it, I'm considering it being on glued to my camera for the whole year, this season. I think this season, everything I shoot is gonna be with this on the street. It's, look at the profile. I mean, it's super small, it's a pancake. Super small, super gorgeous. The white and the black, it, it's a perfect match on this expert. It's a perfect match. The black and the white lettering, when I look down at this thing, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with it. And it was only $60. And it's not weather sealed, but it was only $60. I have no problem of buying this again if it breaks or it gets messed up. Why did I choose this over the Seven Artisans 25 millimeter? I think it's an F18 maybe. I don't know. You get another stop of light. I chose this one because the aperture is a clickable aperture. And the seven hours is not. I have one of those uh, focus tabs under here, like the, on the Leica lenses and the Voigtlander. I got that. It's a set. It's actually seven hours and makes it. Um, I'm just going to talk about that real quick. It's made of rubber, and it's a 3M double-sided sticky tape that it literally just sticks to the bottom of this. It's better than grabbing your lens because my fingers get in the way, so I can just keep my finger underneath there and it's super easy to focus. What I, a couple things I don't like about it. One, I don't like that it's made of rubber. Two, in my camera bag, I pulled the camera out. I went to hiking with my grandson and I went, I'll went. i show you some pictures because I use this lens. Um, my grandson and my son, we went hiking and uh, when I pulled this out, my, my focus was, all shoved all the way to the right and it kind of stuck there and I thought oh crap my lens is jacked up but it wasn't the lens the focus tab came unstuck and it like slid down and kind of like glued the focus ring into place because it was like glued against the moving mechanism and the solid part and it wouldn't move so I had to kind of like break it free and I figured out what happened so I had to pull it off and stick it back on. And then I stuck it on backwards. So I had to pull it off and turn it around. It's 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 popped off like three times because, well, purposely. And 
it's stuck right back on and it hasn't moved and it hasn't fell. I figured I would lose it after the, after that. It only lose, you know, he's going to lose a stick, but it's still on there. That's cool. I didn't like how it came off. Another thing I don't like is it's so big that when my camera, if my camera's laying on the table, it actually tilts back a little bit. It's like a kickstand. It's, it sits lower than the bottom of the camera. So I have to turn it this way if I just sit my camera down. So, um, so it's a little bit on the big side. I wish it was a little, like I can almost just like shave off a little bit of that, but it, I don't know. Anyway, um, I wish it screwed in and I wish it was metal. And I wish it was had a lower profile. But other than that, it was eight dollars and it, it works, it does its job. It does exactly what I need it to do, so I'm not complaining that much. So let's take a look at some photos with this lens. I I taken it out four times. Um once was I just got it. I threw it on the camera. I went downtown to go get some lunch. And while I was kind of waiting on my lunch, which they were closed, I spent about 20 or 30 minutes. Shoot. Look, I need a shot on a chase. My girl need a wine in a state. My mom need a house for the late. So I got some money to make. They told me I got what it take. So I gotta take it all back. I told them I need my pay. I need my 50 for tax. I don't ran low on my patience. Make sure my time isn't wasted. I told them all that I've been real. They know that I cannot face. So then we, then the next day I went down and I spent about an hour walking around Newark, Ohio, and just to see if I can get a few shots. And I, I only got a couple shots. He know I'm harder than try. Lately I'm looking for real shit. The things my money can't buy. They don't understand how the shit goes. How do I use it? The switch goes. And then on my fourth time out with this lens. I went downtown Columbus and I spent about an hour and a half walking around and shooting. And it was probably one of my best trips down there. And I don't know, I mean, it, definitely this lens. This lens has something that my other lenses don't have and that's a lot of character. And I really can't define what it is, but this is something about it. Um, it just looks different. It's just different. Um, it rendered differently. It's got like this micro contrast. It's got this depth of field that it, it just, I don't know. I can't really pinpoint, pinpoint it, but I know it's different. And there's really something special about it. I actually highly recommend it. I don't have affiliate links for this lens. I'm not sponsored by them i'm not i bought this with my own, my own hard-earned money i found it in the couch cushion that's how much this cost and i'm just saying that if you're looking for a manual lens with a low profile and a sexy look for your x pro 2 or whatever whatever lens you or camera you're using uh i'd go with it i highly recommend it and um i want to Probably get me some more TTR lenses. That's all I got. Hop in the car, See you later. Watch it go vroom, vroom. I told a mom that I was soon, soon. No, as a child, back in the womb. Oh, told us to back, I need my broom, broom. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. I'm in a whip, so I gotta zoom. They trying to talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm dead to the tomb. They in the way, they gotta move. I got a gas, they running on fumes. I told them way back, it's something new. It's me and Dan, you gotta choose. I'm taking what's mine, I'm doing fine. Don't see the vision, they looking so blind. I hit my lawyer, I don't got a time. Crossing my T's and he died in those eyes. Don't take offense if I do not oblige. I can't be labeled like none of these guys. They hit me once and I'm cutting the ties. I was so low, but I'm back on the rise, it's real. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told a mom that I was soon.